So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I bring you the best three working room farm spots after the 1.07 patch outside of the Mogwin Dynasty area. So you don't need to have access to the Mogwin Dynasty area to farm these three spots. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the first one, guys, is located right here. This is the greatest point you need to come to within the mountain tops of the giants. It's called the Giant's Grave Post. So come here, and then simply, guys, well, that's the grace there, jump on your horse and just run this way. Now, all three of these farms require you to literally throw yourself off the map and swing that weapon, earning roughly around 80k. Probably, I think one's just over. Actually, one could be a 100k, but yeah, either way, it's between that. It's between that, people. So just follow the path I'm going. Let's come this way. Ignore all the enemies. Ignore all these hands, because they will try and tickle your ass to death. And just come over here. Now, see this uh, giant here, guys? Run past him and simply double jump, delaying that second jump. Then just swing away. Don't worry about it looking like you're falling to your death. Sometimes this happens. It doesn't matter. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging and you'll get those runes pop up on your screen. Literally after about 30 seconds to a minute. Sometimes a little bit longer. And then when they actually do pop up on your screen, guys, all you got to do is just fast travel back to that grace point And you can rinse and repeat this. It really is that easy. Now, I'm, I'm, I can't remember how much you used to get doing this. Also, guys, I'm not playing on a new game plus. I'm still on my first playthrough, so keep that in mind. If you're playing on new game plus, one, two, three, this was double, triple, quadruple. You get the gist. You get the gist. So, yes, just keep spamming. We don't actually have to spam the light attack button, by the way. You just have to press it like once every three to five seconds. And it delays, where well, it stops you dying. And what actually happens then, guys, is the map up here despawns, the enemies fall to their death, and you get their their runes it really is as simple as that there you go it says four thousand but actually i got there you can see it's 50 60 thousand there 63 thousand i got them just for that so yeah it's not bad whatsoever i'm not sure if you carry on falling yeah you get another burst just like so so as you can see yeah it's about 70 yeah i thought it was roughly about seven i thought it was about 80 but yeah 75 thousand about right so then simply guys what you do is fast travel back to the point just like so just like so and then you can just rinse and repeat you can just rinse and repeat that it really is that simple okay so the next one guys is located up here uh odina liturgical town now to actually gain access to this area guys you need to get the halig tree medallion and use it down here now i'll leave a link in the video description of how you get the halig tree medallion it's not too hard to be honest, there's plenty of glitches out there that can in assist you in killing the boss within Castle Soul. Um, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but actually, you know, if you jump off the map close to him, he actually dies. You can just run past him and get the, the one half of the Hadri Medallion out of the chest up here. Uh, the other half comes from, if I remember rightly, down here somewhere. You're spawning at this, I don't think it's that Grace point. It's somewhere around here, I think it's that one. You run up this hill and there's a guy hiding in the basket. I'm sure he gives you the other half. But either way, guys, it's been a while. Um, but yes, you'll find that linked in the video description if you're unsure. So we need to go to this grace point right here. That's where we're going to go. Now, that's where we're going to go, people. Now, I can't believe that the patch, the latest patch was so big. It was on, but absolutely, incredibly massive. Okay, so once you're here, again, pull out your horse and come this way. And what you actually have to do here, guys, is if you haven't done this already, you need to. There's actually going to be a seal over this door up here. So when you first initially come here, guys, you won't actually have access to this point. Uh, you actually, there's a seal in this door. You actually have to clear that seal. Now, how you do this, guys, is you go to this ever jail. It's the ever jail right here. And you basically go inside of it and you actually have to activate three candles. Three or four. There's one in that, that tower there. There's one up there somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's one down there too. But it's very easy, guys. Nothing hard about it. Once you do that, you'll be teleported back here. And the seal up there will be broken. And this is where 
this exploit, this glitch works. So you need to run and jump past the right side of that teleport right there. Uh, you can't get this, you probably won't get this right first time, but just jump and delay that second jump for as long as you can and then just swing. Make sure you delay that second jump and it really is that simple. Now, I actually can't remember how much you get from this one. I think this one could be 100k, maybe a little bit less. I think we've got what, 40, well, 1.4 million, is it? Or 1,475,000 I got. Well, you guys can do the maths. You guys are better at maths than me. I'm old, I'm tired, I'm burnt out. But yeah, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to come back to this game until DLC or something because I just did absolutely everything on it. I just got bored of it. I really did. That's crazy because I got like 700. Well, last time I checked, it was close to 600 hours in it. But that's just on with this character. <laughs> it's not my other characters. I got quite a few of them. So, yeah. But yeah, so you can, you can understand. I probably got burnt out. And it's actually my first playthrough, by the way. I haven't gone into New Game Plus yet. Like I said, I'm still looking for an excuse. Someone give me a reason to go into New Game Plus. And I'll do it. If not, keep your mouth quiet, motherfuckers. But yeah, there we go. I'm not even sure how much that was. That looked like 140k to me, 130k to me. Something like that. So that's actually quite a good spot right there. It's actually quite a good spot right there. I don't think you get another burst of these. We'll keep falling for a split second. You might do, you might not. I cannot remember. I should forget. Don't matter. You guys control that for yourselves. Then guys, just fast travel back to that grace point. It really is that simple. Okay, so the third and final spot, which we can farm, is located right there. So you want to come to this tunnel. I don't even know what that says. The Annex Tunnel, I'm going to say the Annex Tunnel. Uh, so yeah, just want to teleport down there. If you haven't come down here yet, just run down to this tunnel. Pretty easy to get to. Nothing really in your way. It's a little bit of fog, a little bit of frost. Now you'll initially actually have to come down here to actually activate this grace point. So yep, there we go. Now we want to go back up. That's the grace point we're going to use for this farm. So a quick little trick to make it a little bit faster for yourself is as you go up here, yeah, you want to send the lift back down. Just so it's waiting for you when you actually fast travel back. So now we want to run out of this, uh, this cave. And we're going to jump off the map again. So we'll pull out our horse and we're going to run to the right of that rock. Double jump, delaying that second jump, like one, two, then just swing your weapon away. And it really is, guys. I think this one may give you closer to 100k. Not as much as the last one, but more than the first one. I'm, I'm quite sure of that. Again, you guys can do the maths. And these are these are more or less for people who haven't got access to the Mugwin Dynasty area yet. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Just giving you guys options to farm those runes if you want to farm them. Nothing will beat the Mugwin Dynasty hill with the Relic Sword or any weapon that can take out all those Abinux quickly. Because that is just, um, you get like 3k per enemy. There's like 20 there maybe. Probably a little less. And you can rinse repeat. You can do that literally every 50 to 20 seconds. Earning millions and millions. I think someone actually, I think I might have actually timed it over an hour. I can't remember how much I got, but it was quite a lot. It was quite a lot. So we're just going to keep swinging here. And eventually they will pop up on your screen. Again, I can't remember what the total was here for runes, but there we go. 77,000 was that then? I can't. My eyes are so tired. Struggling to keep them awake. We'll just uh, drop for a few more seconds to see them. There's one of these ones that give you a second burst. Of runes. I can't remember which one it was. I know the first one does, but I'm sure between the second and the third one I've showcased today, you do get a second burst of runes. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just an idiot and I've just forgot. But hey. But either way, guys, from here then, you just fast travel back to that grace. Simple as that. And from here, again, you just step on the lift, turn around, step on the lift, go back up, rinse and repeat. And there we have it guys, three of the best rune farms outside of the Mugwind Dynasty area. You can farm to earn those runes. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of me, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.